place prior when they came to the borders or the threshold of the Jordan River the first time. Moses is making a reference that what you did before end up putting the people into the wilderness for 40 years. Now, if you do it again, you will send them back into the wilderness and there be destroyed because the second time you're not going to come out. Within this passage, it begins to open up a, 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 a concept, a, a very powerful idea and truth that faith is not something that I pour into a jar and I ask God for more faith to fill up my cup. That is the concept that I often had, and I believe this is the concept that the disciples had when they asked Jesus, give me more faith. Jesus' inherent response to them was, you don't need more faith. All you need to do is do what I ask you to do. Amen. Therefore, it opens up the idea and the understanding that faith is not a cup of water to be filled, but faith happens in stages. And in each stage, if you execute at the level that you are at, it is a perfect, complete level of faith. Can I break it down a little bit more? I, I, I need to lay the foundation here for a moment until we get into really what we're going to be talking about. So the Bible says there is a level of faith that comes to us when we accept the word of God, when we accept salvation and we turn our hearts towards him. That is the first level of faith. Abraham, yes, Lord, I need you to move. Where? I need you to go west. How far? You'll find out when you get there. <laughs> and Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him as righteousness. The first level, and I'm not going to go through all the levels, I'm just going to go through uh, 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 two levels here. The first level of faith is coming out. When it comes to salvation, the first level of faith is being saved. I accept the calling of the Lord over my life. Yes. I accept that God calls me to something great. Yes. I accept the Lord has called me into the heritage. I accept that the Lord is now saying you are a son, you are a daughter of the most high God, and I'm calling you out of darkness into this marvelous light. Will you accept the invitation? Yes. <clears throat> and if you accept the invitation, that is the first level of faith. Can I break it down even more? Yes, sir. We see throughout the Bible that there are people who are called to that first level. And either... Get ahead of myself. We talked about Abraham in his example, right? Israel also serves as an example. Because God called Israel out of Egypt. Hebrews chapter 11 says something very odd. That they had faith. They had faith to get out of Egypt. For Abraham, God just simply called him out. He spoke to him, Nancy. He said, there is nothing that holds you back but you. There is nothing that is holding you back but the expectation that you have by staying here. I'm calling you out of everything that you possess, all that you own, all that you inherit, I'm calling you out of all of that and I'm going to give you a wilderness. Yeah. 
But when you go into your wilderness, you will come out the father of many nations. Abraham was called out. In the, in the case of Israel, Israel could not move out of their own. Israel was encumbered by a force that was holding them back. So God had to break the power, the grip of an oppressive force over their lives in order for them to move out in that first level. Right now, there are people in this room and people that you know have been oppressed by some type of force. You've been held back. You've been caught in an addiction. You've been caught in some type of bad, abusive relationship. And God says, I'm calling you out. But in order for me to get you out, sometimes God, God, God has to break the back of the oppressor in order to bring you out. First level of faith. They had faith. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on real quick. So, so we're still talking about the first level of faith, right? So when we get to another calling out situation, we look at Lot. Peter in the New Testament says something that always baffled me. They said, for Lot living in Sodom vexed his righteous soul. Have your soul ever been vexed? When you see the attraction